Hey guys, Deepin here, and today we have another Kurobukuyo B Shoujo unboxing, and this time it's. That's right, it is Hatsune Miku featuring My Little Pony. Just a quick disclaimer uh, I am not a brony, I am not a My Little Pony fan. I have nothing against it. If you like it, that's fine. But I am a big Hatsune Miku fan. I love Hatsune Miku. Have you eaten some vegetables? You know you can survive on chicken nuggets. Eat some damn veggies. And as you guys know, I love Kurobukuyo's Bishoujo figurine line. And Kurobukuyo did a Hatsune Miku Bishoujo a while ago. I did a video on that as well. You can check that out up here. And I've done several Bishoujo unboxings from their My Little Pony series. Again, I'm not a big fan of the My Little Pony uh, cartoon, but I love the Bishoujo designs. They're so cute! Look at them! And Bishoujo decided to combine My Little Pony with Hatsune Miku. It's a very weird and I guess successful combination. But before we start unboxing this, let's talk about some specs. So the Hatsune Miku and My Little Pony collaboration Bishoujo statue from Kurobukuya released on May of last year, 2022. It is a 1-7 scale figurine that stands 215 millimeters tall. It is made out of PVC and ABS plastic. And the sculptor goes by the name of Tsubame Morikura. If you're looking to buy the statue, it's gonna run you almost $150. That's right, it's $139.99 retail. So with that out of the way, let's go talk about the box. Of course, you have the big window right here to show off the statue. And actually, I should say statues. There's actually a Miku version, My Little Pony little thing over there. At the bottom right of the box, you have Miku and you have her My Little Pony counterparts. You have the My Little Pony logo and the Miku logo down there on the bottom left. You have Hatsune Miku featuring My Little Pony. Here's a little text up there. And then you have the Kotobukuya logo on the top right. On this side, you have the Zero One logo, uh, the little tattoo that's on Miku's uh, right arm. That's pretty cool. Then you got some more logos over here. On this side, you have Shunya Yamashita's artwork of Miku and her My Little Pony counterpart. So that uh, very, very cute. On the back of the box, you have the statue in full. You have the full statue here. What I noticed is that there is some pink gradient on the bottom of her pigtail, so that's new. Um, you have the Hatsune Miku statue up here holding a microphone, and you have the pony counterpart down there. Let's go ahead and open this up, shall we? Doo -doo -doo -doo. And so inside of the box, there's a pink and turquoise design that goes all around with the zero one printed on the back, right? So that's inside of the box. And then the statues come in this nice plastic encasing. So I'm gonna repeat this as I do in every Bishoujo unboxing video that I do. Whenever you open these statues up, you gotta remember, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta remember, you don't wanna open them sideways because you can have the statue fall out, and if the statue falls out, it has a potential to break, okay? And I don't want you guys spending so much money on these beautiful statues only to have them shatter. I'm sure you guys are excited and you wanna open them up as soon as possible, but you guys, these are expensive and you, you, do, you do not wanna shatter these guys, okay? Okay, you don't wanna open it like this, guys, or else the statue is gonna fall out. So there's actually two statues in this collaboration here. There's the pony and then there's the Miku. Let's go ahead and talk about the Miku first. So she's already connected to the base here and she is covered and protected by this plastic wrap. Let's take this out. So there's one little thin foam piece over here, so then the pigtail doesn't scratch the arm. All right, so here you go. Very nice, look at this. So I can already tell this has a very high chance to snap. Um, and the reason why I say that is that she is barely hanging on the bottom of this base and she's also kind of leaning over this way. You can kind of see if I wiggle the statue ever so slightly, the whole thing kind of wobbles like this and that's very scary. There's not a lot of like mass holding everything together. Everything is just kind of like loose. There's a bunch of limbs and the pigtails, they're, they look very heavy. So uh, yeah, it's very scary. So I'm going to try to be very careful with this. Oh. It does come off. Well then, there you go. Like, uh, yeah, it's so, it's like barely holding on. You can see like the nubs here are not very tall and the hole here is, yeah, there's, there's not a lot to hold it. So if you're gonna like put this on display, just make sure there's nothing heavy or whatever. Like if it's gonna fall down, make sure, I don't know. It's, it's very scary. She's like on a tilt. She's like sideways, you know, it's like scary. Oh my God. It's like, it's like really scary to like display this. But uh, if you buy this, 
Please be, please be careful. All right, I'm gonna zoom in and let's talk about the statue, guys. First things first, I am gonna add her microphone into her hand. All right, and there you go. So since uh, I added the microphone, let's talk about the microphone first. So the top of the microphone is painted in a nice like chrome silver. So there's a nice shininess to it. The bottom of the microphone, nice little shimmer. There's a nice little gloss to the paint. And now let's talk about her face. So Miku has a very expressive face. She's trying to sing. It looks like she's trying to belch out a lyric or something. So that's pretty cute. She, her mouth is open. Um, so what I'm starting to notice about a lot of the newer Bishoujo statues is that the teeth and the tongue are actually molded onto the face. They used to be painted on. A lot of them used to just have like a, like a very, like a, a line or just very simple, like a very simple stamp painting on them. But nowadays you actually see the sculpt on the face. So that's really great. The eyes are painted on. The teal eyes match the teal hair. And there's some very, very light pink like eyeliner and some pink blush to match with like the gradient pink that's on her bangs over here. The hair, the bangs, you could see all the little lines and the detail work on the sculpt. You can also see on the back of her head where her neck is, there's like some stray hairs coming out. That's a nice little unneeded detail but nice detail nonetheless you know just kind of you know sometimes you clip your hair you have it in a ponytail right and then some little like hair strand just kind of like fall out the headset over here as you can see a lot of it is gloss so there's a nice glossy finish on the uh, the headband or the headband slash uh they look like headphones so that's pretty cool you have her sleeves out here the sleeves super glossy it's nice it gives it nice a, like a nice pleather look to the sleeves there's one on her right arm and there's one on her left arm as well it is outlined by like a teal accent on the top and bottom of the sleeve you see her nice hot pink zero one tattoo that's on her left arm so that's pretty neat here she has a nice pale complexion of course there's again there's like some pink blush that's on her face so her pigtails are twin tails they're very large and they're very hefty so there's a there's a lot of mass to it the pigtail starts from her head there it's a very nice soft pastel teal matte finish and then as it comes down you can see it starts becoming almost like a translucent pink. So that's very, very cool. I love how they do that gradient design where it's like a solid and then it comes out almost translucent. So I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the light kind of goes through the hair. So it's pretty cool. It's definitely like um, somewhat transparent. So it's a pretty cool effect there. Obviously, if you know Miku, she has, this is her like traditional outfit. It's a silver or gray top with a, uh, black and teal accents so that's pretty cool as i mentioned before there's a lot of like loose limbs on this this tie is no exception the tie fro comes up from here underneath the collar and then it comes out and then you got like two black clips see the other side of the clips on the bottom of the tie there the top is a nice glossy shimmer to it um it almost looks like a uh, handkerchief because of the the outlines the the little lining of here with, with the teal design that's kind of etched around it kind of looks like teeth in a way and then you have this loose i don't know what this is at first i thought it was like maybe like some suspenders but it's a belt spiky design with like teal and dark like a like a like a forest green and then the black skirt as you can see also a bit shiny but not as like glossy as the shirts or like the pleather looking sleeves over there and then her legs her stockings are also very very glossy just like the sleeves it gives it the same kind of look so it's not just painted on there's a nice little outline that's over there on top of her thighs the stocking continues all the way down to her feet so i guess this is more of like a really long boot and then the bottom of the heel over there is also a teal color so it matches the rest of the teal accents of her outfit the bottom base a uh, very simple circular design, nothing too fancy. There's no sculpt or anything on there, just a print. It's just uh, some teal and pink colors and some dark teal over there with zero ones all around. And that's about it. It's just, it's just plain uh, teal on the bottom. If, and if you're wondering if she has any panties on, um, no, they're actually booty shorts. So sorry uh, for those who are hoping for a nice butt shot. There is no butt shot. I mean, there is a butt shot, but it's not something uh, for you pervs, I'm looking at you guys. There's there's no uh, panty shot. It's just uh, black short shorts, okay? You know, and then Miku has a very, very slim build. So the shirt that she's wearing is very, very tight. It kind of hugs uh, her torso and it, then it flares out where her hips are at. And although the bust is there, and there is a natural shadow to curvature her boobs. There is also a slight uh, darkening paint job for the shadows 
over there to get to to make the breast stand out a little more and of course the the nice shots of my favorite thing um that's the miku statue and let's briefly talk about the my little pony counterpart here we go so um it is it is so weird, but um, yeah, let's go talk about this piece over here. As you can see here, this is supposed to look like Miku, I guess. So her whole body is turquoise, the entire body. Let me zoom in a little bit. So the Miku pony is entirely turquoise from her body to the tail. Tail has like some music notes that are painted on it. So they're printed on there. And then her hair is similar to the Miku statue. It's teal and then it kind of goes into a pink gradient. And the gradients uh, where it's pink, it, it's kind of uh, transparent as well. You kind of see it here. The pony is actually like standing on this weird like music wave. I, I'm assuming this is like a sound wave. And then you have like a little musical note here and over there that's white and uh, turquoise. She has the zero two stamped or branded on her thigh. She has a nice little like pink collar and a turquoise tie. Tie just like the Miku counterpart. Her eyes also turquoise. She has thick, thick black eyeliner. And then her mouth's open. You can see the tongue and the inside of her mouth. She has two little ears. And then the, I guess the pigtail a headset thingy also on the pony. And then the base over here is very similar to the Miku statue as well. So yeah, she's basically a mini me version of this guy, but like, just a pony. Overall, I think this is very, very cool. If you are a My Little Pony fan, this is kind of a very interesting thing to get in your collection because I think it's pretty unique. Not only do you get like a My Little Pony Hatsune Miku pony thing, you also get a uh, Miku. And I think it's really cool to see, like again, I'm not a big like My Little Pony guy, but if I were to be a My Little Pony guy and I see a really cool collaboration like this, I definitely would pick this up. Uh, if you're a um, Hatsune Miku fan, I think this is also a very unique collaboration. Usually Hatsune Miku teams up with like clothing brands and video games and anime as well. But this as like an official merchandise with like a really big IP like My Little Pony, I think this is a really cool thing to pick up as well if you're a Hatsune Miku fan. And if you're both a My Little Pony and a uh, Hatsune Miku fan, this is like the perfect thing to get. Now, if you're just an anime fan in general, uh, or you, just, you like collecting waifus uh, or whatever is like me, I don't know if you'd want to pick this up. So I don't know, 140, 150 bucks is kind of pricey, right? Especially if you're not like a My Little Pony fan or a Hatsune Miku fan. It's kind of eh, right? Usually when people are into like waifu statues or into like super sexy or super cute, this is like, you know, kind of weird. This is almost like borderline like furry territory. And then again, I have nothing against furries. I love my furry friends. I dance with them. I see them at the cons, whatever. But some people, you know, want to stay away from that. So, you know, maybe you don't want to associate yourself. I don't know, up to you, right? Up to you. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty cool collab. I would write this a solid nine actually, right? The statue is cute, right? Miku looks great. I like her her pose, the colors, very Miku. It's, there's nothing un-Miku about it, and I'm a big Miku fan. And the fact that there is a pony also that's part of it, it's kind of eh, but it's also very unique, right? Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point, so I'm gonna cut the video now. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Hatsune Miku X My Little Pony collaboration statue figurine thing in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to see me unbox any more Miku statues or Bishoujo stuff, maybe some My Little Pony stuff, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm definitely unboxing a lot more Bishoujos lately, so you know, let me know guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Ready?